Well, if you know anything about Denver, Denver sports kind of run this town. And we are just getting into the absolute pinnacle of uh, the Denver sports seasons as the Broncos have started their their season. The Nuggets and Avalanche are coming up. We won't talk about the Rockies too much, but stay tuned for all of what's going on. And we'll throw in a little BMW championship uh, results report uh, next. What's up, guys? I'm Jeremy Kane with Living in the Denver Suburbs and EXP Realty. I sell houses in Denver, so if you're watching this because you're a sports person, uh, so am I. Coached high school basketball for a long time. Now I sell houses. So if you're here, we do a ton of content on real estate typically, but once a quarter, I uh, give myself the freedom to do a, a mile high sports report to help um, everybody kind of dial into what's going on if they've been super busy like I have. So um, <clears throat> let's get with it. Like, comment, subscribe, and absolutely would love to chat with you anytime about anything real estate related, market, investing, uh, selling, buying, all the things. So uh, let's start out with obviously the first and foremost, the Denver Broncos started their season last weekend. Unfortunately, they came up short against the uh, dreaded Seattle Sea Chickens, I mean Seahawks. Um, and, you know, honestly, it was an interesting game, a little bit slow, didn't really capitalize early on, but it was the first start for the rookie Bo Nix, um, who looked really great in preseason. Uh, didn't have a lot to work with, it didn't feel like from the receiving core in the first uh, game. However, uh, the future looks pretty bright. Hopefully we can kind of stay with them. Uh, Broncos country, give Bo a little bit of uh, grace here. We've kind of run through a few few quarterbacks uh, since since we've uh, had Peyton Manning retire. And actually, he wasn't very good his last year either. We did end up winning a Super Bowl, but uh, yeah. So we'll see uh, Broncos opening weekend at home this weekend. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers, I will be there. Unfortunately, Russell Wilson um, will not. Uh, the Broncos are paying him to not play against them. Uh, just kidding. Uh, they are paying him, but he will not be playing um, due to a calf strain or some something. He didn't play last week. Uh, but Justin Fields uh, from The Ohio State University. If you know anything about me, I'm a big Buckeyes fan. So um, we will see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, Fields is a little bit um, kind of rejuvenated off of his... Uh, First team, the Chicago Bears, he was a high draft pick. Uh, the Bears ended up getting uh, the number one pick and have Caleb Williams, so they moved on from him. So he's going to get that opportunity again to prove himself. But we will see. Hopefully the Broncos uh, can can put some things together and get moving. I am I have high hopes for this season. I think they can uh, have their first winning season at the very least in a long time. Uh, but they got to get things right on that offensive side. Uh, and then let's hop over to the Nuggets and Avalanche. Uh, the Nuggets, uh, their big story of the, uh, the offseason was their number one draft pick uh, in the mid-20s. I think they took him uh, from Dayton. He was going to be a big guy. He was going to be somebody that could spell uh, the two-time MVP Jokic uh, in those times of uh, exhaustion, maybe save him up a little bit more for the playoffs so he's not worn down. Uh, but unfortunately... Um, Deron Holmes II got hurt early on in the summer league, so we didn't even get a taste of what was to come because he was pretty much out. It was an injury, uh, I believe the Achilles injury, and he will miss the entire season. So they do have a couple, uh, Isaiah Hartenstein and OG Ananobi uh, that they did bring in, but they will rely on the usual suspects, Jamal Murray, um, and Michael Porter Jr., um, Aaron Gordon, new number for AG as he uh, tragically lost his brother, so he's honoring him this year, uh, but should be good. We'll see if we can uh, have some of the, the youngsters of the past, uh, Christian Brown and Peyton Watson and um, Julian Strother kind of step up and, and put in, but we will uh, get to that as we go. They are starting training camp up here pretty quickly. Uh, the Avalanche, much of the same. A lot of people are a little bit frustrated with the goaltending uh, and not, um, you know, stepping that up. Uh, they did uh, re-sign Jonathan Druin, who had a, you know, outbreak season 
um, on the line with his good friend Nate McKinnon. Um, so we'll see if that can continue or if that was kind of a flash in the pan. Other additions, Parker Kelly, um, Eric Brandstrom, and Calvin DeHaan. So we'll see how they roll, right? The Avalanche have, have been tough. They've been good. Um, versatile defensemen are, are absolutely huge. That's uh, Eric Brandstrom. I think the Avalanche have a ton of great defensemen. However, uh, they're typically offensive-minded. So need a couple guys back there that can can grind it out and maybe uh, play the old Adam foot roll uh, that we seem to be missing a little bit and hopefully help the goalie out. Uh, a lot of people love Gorgiev. A lot of people hate him. Uh, I'm not a huge fan, but he did kind of turn around the playoffs last year. So we'll see how that that goes. But if you know anything about this town from October to February, it is absolutely sports haven. So if you get a chance to go out to a game, uh, definitely do that. Um, the Broncos, obviously, um, right down there off of I-25 uh, and, you know, the Avalanche Ball Arena along with the Nuggets. So lots to do every single night over there. Um, as for the Rockies, uh, we probably don't have to say this, but they have been mathematically eliminated um, and have been for a couple weeks now. Number three worst team in the league. Uh, so I, I'm still waiting for these draft picks to come around that uh, <laughs> that that come with all these you know these uh, poor losing seasons. But ultimately, uh, if we are going to talk about the Rockies, Coors Field's a great place to go watch a game. Uh, if you are a baseball fan or you like being outdoors in Colorado, the summer nights over there. Unfortunately, that works against us because the owners still make money and they don't feel like they have to put money into the team. And when they do put money into the team, it's really head scratching, you know, nonsense like Chris Bryant, um, who has been on the injured reserve more than off of it. And they traded uh, the best third baseman the franchise has ever seen um, and brought him in a year later. So didn't really make sense. Here we are. The Rockies aren't very good. Um, hopefully we can we can definitely see some improvement there. They do have some some decent young guys. Couldn't tell you one of their names. I don't want. BMW Championship come through here um, on the PGA FedEx Cup, uh, and Keegan Bradley took the title there. So that was a fun weekend. Um, we had, you know, a ton of excitement down there. The course is beautiful. People kind of compare it to Augusta. It's kind of in the mountains, kind of has has that flair, the pine straw, the things that uh, kind of go with Augusta. Um, as well as, you know, it was really cool to see Wyndham Clark, uh, the local Valor Christian graduate um, who played in that tournament and was competitive. Um, his good buddy, Derek White, um, who was an NBA champion, was there. I think he had the trophy out there. Derek uh, went to Legend High School. Um, so kind of cool to see some of those uh, Colorado boys get out there and, and do that. Um, Wyndham did not end up winning. Uh, the tournament, but there was some hype around that. One fun fact about Wyndham Clark is a guy I coach, John Ahern, uh, shout out to my Devlin boys if you're watching this, uh, beat Wyndham Clark in the state championship in golf, uh, John's senior year and Wyndham's junior year. So if you ever want to know somebody that's better at golf than Wyndham Clark, at least for that, that day and time uh, of the state championship, John Ahern, shout out to you, buddy. Uh, good lefty over there. But Wyndham's a great golfer. It's kind of cool to see that. Uh, the BMW Championship is one of three legs of the FedEx Cup Championship. Ultimately, Scotty Scheffler won that one. Uh, Scotty's had an interesting year, getting arrested, going into a major, uh, or getting not arrested. That was Tyree Kill. Um, but get Scotty Scheffler did get uh, a citation and, and kind of uh, slowed down going into a major tournament when he's the number one golfer in the world. So that's kind of funny. In other news, I did mention Tyreek Hill getting arrested and detained before the first Miami football game. 
and then proceeding to receive over 100 yards and score a touchdown and play in that game. It's pretty interesting there, but uh, sports are sports, right? So cool part is as we go through this election season and all the things that are going on, we can rally around our teams usually. Um, so be kind to people out there. Always root for the Broncos and uh, be excited about the Nuggets and Avalanches. Hopefully um, everybody has figured out a way to watch them uh, since the Altitude Network is still not on Comcast and not on some of the major carriers of cable. So hope uh, you guys get out there and see a game. Uh, it is prime time for the Denver real estate sports market right now as we head into the Bronco season, Nuggets and Avalanche. And we're finally out of the doldrums of only the Rockies. So like, comment, subscribe. Typically talk about real estate, but today we're talking about sports in the Denver area. Comment below what you think the Broncos record will be. And if you're close, maybe I'll send you something cool. We'll talk to you later.